this lesson you are going to learn how to use fill the component in talent this is the scenario that is we have to find the sales greater than 500 in france so how can you do that we have to actually filter it so let us take the euromart store and place it in the workspace and we have an option called filter row so filter row is used to restrict the number of rows which we want to view while using filtering we can see that how many entries are there in france and how much how much entries we have which has a greater than 500 let us do the first one where the country is equal to fans this double equal to means it is an equal that is it is checking for the equality from the records okay in the record which we have this which we have connected and it will show up the data so double click on the filter row and in the just click on the conditions you have a condition here right so click on the condition and you have to see only the country and this is the function which are related to the string function so for string you can do lowercase uppercase everything okay and it depends based on the the function will show up based on the data type which you are trying to use so here we are using a country which is a string data type that is why it is showing up the functions which are relevant to string so let us leave this empty and then you have to give equal symbol equals France okay let us first execute this and see what is the output okay I'm just connecting with the log row and changing the mode to the table and we'll execute it now you can see that only the countries which are uh, that is a country which are uh, the records which are belongs to France will be displayed okay so this is what the result okay so you can see here that um, from Euromart store nearly 8047 records has been transferred and after that you can see that 1916 rows are related to France and if you just scroll you can see that all the countries will that countries are from France the countries names are France only that is what we have given in the filtering options okay so next is we have to find the sales greater than 500 in France okay so we have to add one more column here click and go to sales where in sales you can see that there is no functions available because sales is a numeric data type for that we don't have any functions and we are going to find greater than 500 so in the operator you have to change it to greater than and in value you have to give us 500 you can see the difference here that in the value that is for country that is a string i have given the value inside the double quotation whereas if it is a number i have to give it without double quotes okay so here in the logical operator you can see that i have used and so what is that and so the and is an logical operator and is what it's a logical operator we have two types of and, two types of logical operator which is supported in talent so first one is and okay first logical operator is and where if both the conditions are true conditions are true the results will be displayed oh, okay the both if the both the conditions are true the results will be displayed where else you have another condition called r okay where else if even if any one condition is true it will show the result okay so what is our condition here my first condition is the country should be france and the second condition is the sales should be greater than 500 okay so you have to decide 
you have to decide that which whether it has to follow both the conditions or any one condition if it satisfies you can get the result so it is up to our scenario based on our uh, scenario we have to decide what we need to display okay either the country with the france or either the country the france either greater than 500 or both okay if i need both the conditions to be satisfied then i have to use and if i need only one conditions to be satisfied then i can use r i'll show you how to how the display will be how the output will be if you use and and r okay now if you just go to the filter options you can see that the logical operator condition used here is and on or and is the default condition let us leave it as such and execute it here and see what is the output the data is connected now from Euromart store to the filter 8000 records will be transferred okay 8047 and from filter row to log row you have only 346 rows previously while we gave like country is equal to France you can see that you might have seen that it is nearly 1900 records but now it is only 346 records which means that the France the in country France the sales which are greater than 500 is being displayed here okay now this is like it is satisfying both the condition because we have used and operator let us try with an or operator and see what is the output click here or let us execute this now so see how many rows are transferring it is transferring nearly 2876 rows okay and in the country you can see that okay in country you can see that it is showing up almost all the states okay all the countries and also in the sales it is showing up almost this all the sales okay any one condition if it satisfies no it will be printed so that is what the problem with the r condition so you should be very clear about the condition which you are using if you want that is you have to find the sales greater than 500 in france it should be in and condition okay if you want to find the sales greater than 500 in sweden then you have to change this value accordingly so you should be very clear like which option you are using here that is your requirement based on the requirement you can go ahead with that and you can also add more more um, filtering options here for example here you can see that the profit as well you have right so if you want to find out so let us execute with and okay i'm just executing with this and i'm sorry mm -hmm. okay i'm just executing this went and and you can see that some few rows are fetched up okay you can use some more filtering options there okay if you want to add more filtering for example if you want to see also the profit which is uh, uh, that is if i if i want to see that um, the profit greater than 150 okay i want to see the profit greater than 150 so double click on that click another column to add click plus to add in another column go to profit it should be empty because it is a number this is a numeric data type and then greater than just click greater than okay and then simply you can give 150 now we can see that some more records will be filtered up okay because we have applied three conditions and that to an and statement so the output will be different okay you can see that 120 rows are here and if you go and check with the profit you can see that the profit which are above which are more than 150 will be printed
okay because see you should not see only the sales which is greater than 500 okay you should also see whether there is no loss over there okay so that is what we are just trying to see here that is profit more than 500 150 sorry and also if you want to see feedback which is true okay and you want to see the positive feedbacks that is also possible you can simply go to the filter rows click again and click here feedback where else in feedback you can see the various options okay so because that is a string data type click equals and then click e r u e so true is what the value if it is the feedback is given or if the feedback is positive that is what it means so simply execute it since the feedback column as a string data so you have to give inside the double quotes so don't forget to give that inside the double quotation you can see that one day 54 records are there and if you just scroll up you can see that all are the true feedback so all these data will be satisfied see feedback is true profit is above 150 sales is above 500 and the country is also France okay all these records are satisfied that is why we are using and okay if any one condition should be satisfied in this sense you can go ahead with R okay so let us try the filter column you have two options either you can filter restrict the number of rows you want or else you can also filter restrict the number of columns you want so let us have the Euromart store data okay let us have the Euromart store data and uh, we'll connect with the filter columns okay so to filter the column I'm just using I want to filter I want to see only order ID I don't want okay I don't want the order ID order name I want customer customer name I don't want country and I just need a sales the customer who bought more than 700 rupees okay so this only I need okay let me show you one thing okay I'll, I'm just uh, I'm just doing an another job here there is another flow here and I will just connect with that okay give input file so connect here with filter columns where if you want to restrict the number of columns edit the schema if it is not available then you can simply select whichever is necessary for you that is you need a customer name select and click here the right arrow okay and I want the sale select here and click the right arrow here okay click here that is fine okay and then click log row okay now we are just going to see if we simply click run okay what it will do is it will run both the jobs okay it will run this flow as well as this okay if you want only one job to be executed okay if I want this is called as a sub job okay this is a sub job and this is also the sub job if you see if you just click on the complete job and if you go and click on the filter job you can see about this okay this is the main extra so everything will be there okay so now if you want to execute one day the selected job okay if you want to execute one day the selected job okay go here in the execute job the run filter job click here you can see various jobs are there okay now we are in the filter job okay where else it's also showing filter column 0 0.1 okay it is also automatically created the another job here so if you click here filter column you can see that only this column will be executed only this job will be executed okay if you have multiple records you can select which which job should be executed here so you can see that the thing which you have selected that is uh, customer and sales actually we have selected customer and sales okay so it is executed so let us execute try to execute this filter 
job okay okay we haven't saved this okay this is also executing here can you see the both the things are executing here now you can see that only okay you can see that only this column are executed okay this this the, this is the output for the column this is that is filter column this is the output for the filter column fine you can see that only the columns are here whereas in the filter row you can see that the rows are appearing so what is the difference between a filter row and the filter column so if you double click on the filter row in the component you can add the values that is you can add the conditions that is you can have also the logical operator but you cannot edit the schema you cannot edit any schema even if you click edit schema you cannot remove any columns from here okay you have to use all the columns whereas if you just click on the filter column you don't have any conditions to be because you are just going to filter the column okay whereas you can have the synchronize column option and you can remove the unnecessary columns which you have okay so this is what the difference between filter columns and filter row now i'm just going to connect these two filtering options in a one job i'm just going to delete this okay and also i'm going to delete this log row and i'm just going to connect this with the filter columns okay so i have connected this with the filter column where else in the filter column i am going to edit the schema okay so these are all the data which i have but i actually in my filtering i need only the country sales and profit okay so you can simply select whatever you want and have it okay country sales profit and feedback okay so just click okay now you can simply connect with the log row okay now let us execute this okay now let us execute this let us change the mode of the log row to table if you execute this you can see that the filter row will actually filter the data according to the condition that is okay that is what that is based on the condition it will be filtered france greater than 500 profit is greater than 150 and the feedback is true okay and after that we are filtering the column where i just need to see only the country sales profit and feedback so that is what you can do it with combining both the filter row and the filter columns